Well, you could have always done What's it. up, guys? We're here at AMC Town Square with Chase and Cinema. James Shu. Dot com, and we're here for the premiere screening of Just Alba, Sin City, Eva Green, A Dame to Kill For, Mickey Rourke, Bruce Willis, Thanos, My Man, Josh, Josh Brolin. Brolin. Let's do this. We also have If I Stay. But as always, usually I won't review a movie and then James reviews a movie. So um, If I Stay. Um, since I'm seeing it, I'll kind of give what I'm expecting. First time I saw the trailer for this movie, I actually really thought about Ghost. Ghost is kind of the same exact story. Well, not the same exact story, but a similar story where a man kind of stays behind and chooses heaven or staying on earth. However, in Ghost, he's dead. In this movie, she's having an out-of-body experience while she's in a coma. Chloe Grace Moretz, I think she's a great actress. Um, I think the movie looks Kick a little ass. bit cheesy, but um, I'm interested to see it. So I don't have much of an expectation. But for our main movie, Sin City, what are you expecting? Uh, I haven't even seen the first one for, what, nine years? Yeah, it's been a while. I saw it one time in the theater, thought it was cool, never watched it again, and that's how important it was to me. But I remember this was at the peak of J. Alba. This <laughs> yeah, was the this peak is, of Jessica really, Alba. This is what really put her over. Yes! Um, I remember watching Frank Miller's Sin City. I don't remember if it was in a theater, but I remember watching the first time really, really uh, falling in love with it. I thought it was an awesome movie. I thought, you know, the style of really, really brought Jessica the Sin Alba. City <laughs> graphic novel to life. It was the style, you know, the use of color, something that we see a lot more kind of common now, but still nothing really replicated that style. He, um, then Frank Miller brought out the spirit you know, uh, I think I was working. Yeah, I was working at Hot Video, so it must be like 2008, and it was it was not good. I was not happy, so I kind he of directed that one. Yeah, never direct again. I let it go. But Sin City, <laughs> like see, Frozen, a lot of people don't know. There's three, there were three directors on the first Sin City. It was Frank Miller, Robert Rodriguez, and special guest director uh, Quentin Tarantino. But in this one, it's just me, Frank Miller, and Robert Rodriguez. Um, you know, it's. It's a long time. Long time to come out with the sequel. I can't even believe they're coming but out with the sequel. But I'm a big Mickey Rourke fan, so I mean, I, I really enjoyed the first. I'm hoping the sequel kind of lives up to it, and I think, you know, me and you talked about on the podcast that we did last week that I've always thought it's always smart to let Check us, that out. Yeah, please do. It's on our YouTube page. Um, it's always smarter to let people miss characters and miss something, and I think kind of waiting this long might be worth it, depending on what they do with the story. I don't know. It's just, it's so long for a sequel. So they're really hoping that, you know, the superhero genre, they're hoping the old people from the first in city. But they've talked about doing a sequel since, like, I since feel the like. the first one came out. It was like, it's been going on. And then Johnny Depp was a part of it, or like supposedly a part of it. Like, there were so many names that just kept going on and on. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's here. Even all right. though it's been nine to So nine years later, we're going to go our separate ways. You're <laughs> yes. going to check out yours. Yes. I'm going to check out mine. Yes. We'll see how everything turns out. All right, so we just got out. Kick ass, Chloe. Grace Moretz. How'd she do? If I Stay. If I Stay, I thought it was a mediocre movie. Uh, I won't say too much because I know we have a lot to say about Sin City, but I thought If I Stay had heart. However, I couldn't really get emotionally involved in the characters. And I'm curious, I mean, it's a movie that most people will probably tear up in. I think most people actually like it. But I don't think they're going to like it because of the movie, I think it's just going to bring them to a place where they were close with somebody, you know, and had moments like staying up all night in a hospital waiting room and telling someone that they loved or really cared about that it's okay to go on and, and you know, go. And I think those touching moments are going to affect people because of what, we, what they've gone through. And that's not necessarily a bad thing that a movie makes you kind of connect to real life. However, it's a problem when you're just thinking about that and you're not relating it to characters. So I think the characters weren't really um, worth emotionally investing in. The best, the, the man who steals the show is her play, is Chloe Grace uh, Moretz's grandfather, Stacy Keach, who does an amazing job in just one solid scene. He's so, so powerful and he's, um, I won't spoil it, but check out my review, chasingcinema.com slash if I stay. I just thought it was a mediocre picture. I, I think most people will enjoy the movie, but I just felt like the movie didn't offer as much as it should. I thought the whole thing is she chooses either to live or die. And the one thing that she's debating on to stay alive is her boyfriend. And I think their relationship did not work for me. It felt very stiff, robotic. It didn't come off as natural. I didn't buy their chemistry. And I think that really put me off for most of the movie. Do you think it's going to be up there, even though it was mediocre for you, for yeah. the YA crowd, the adults, do you think it'll be like the next Notebook? Um, no. I don't think it'll shake the world like, well, not shake the world, but, you know, shake the, the youth, uh, the youth as the Notebook did. But, shake um, it off. I think, I think people see it and I think they will enjoy it. Uh, yeah, but for me, I think if someone, like, actually looks about it and looks, looks at it from a non- Relative experience, it's not going to be a movie that they're really going to remember. They're just going to remember that I think in the movie it's going to make you cry, but once you walk out of that theater, you're not going to remember characters' names or motivations, things like that, if that makes sense. Okay. Do you think this is going to be a good step for Chloe? Um, I think, well, I, I thought it was better than Kick Ass 2. I'll say that. So, um, but I like her. I think she's finding her way. She has, she's not 
spectacular in this movie, but she has one or two really, really good scenes. And I think she's just kind of finding her place, and I think that's okay as long as she keeps trying different things and really seeing where she could go. And I, as long as she doesn't get like typecast and you know. She's the prostitute in uh, The Equalizer, right? With Denzel? I believe so, okay, yeah, now. which is coming out very, very soon. Awesome. Um, I'm excited for that. All right, so anyway. now, Sin City, a dame to kill for. I'll take it down first. I'm going off the dome, off the cuff, <laughs> off of what I remember. This is always off the dome. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, Jessica Alba's character, it was fine. It was, it was, it was, she's just hot, man. What do you want me to say? She's hot. So if you, if you want to see Jessica Alba, because she doesn't even do movies no more, she's a mom, it's and just... she has her magazine, and she has her clothing stuff. So I mean, so Jessica Alba, cool. Eva Green, hey, 300, Rise of the Empire, nudity, you like that? You better make sure you're watching this one. I think every scene she's in, she's naked. Yeah. I, I think every scene that Eva Green is in, who plays Ava, uh, is naked. So if you like that, this one's for you. Mickey Rourke, hey, he's a BA, he's a ham, you can't take him down. And I think if you like Sin City, the first one, you're gonna like this one. I think if you enjoy seeing really a graphic, a graphic novel on film, it's crazy. It's all, that's that's awesome. You will like it. I think for the major audience though, it's just gonna be subpar. I don't think it's gonna be anything great. And for me, I'll say it's. It, I didn't love it. It wasn't great, but it was good for a Sin City movie. It was like Expendables. If you like Expendables, you like Expendables three. If you like Sin City, I think you'll like. Dame to kill for ChasingCinema.com. I agree and disagree at the same time. Um, really? <laughs> really? Well, first of all, like James is not lying. There's like all together. There's probably about seven to ten minutes of Jessica Alba dancing. If you put all of the dancing scenes together, um, I think the Sin I think Sin City really, like I said earlier, did an amazing job of putting a graphic novel on screen. Beautiful. Like really amazing job. I think this movie's visual style and like that whole entire um, <clears throat> aspect that the movie does. Uh, still works, but I feel like it gets a little bit cheesy in this one. I feel like that's the problem with the movie in general. I feel like it goes more of a cheesy route rather than the brutal kind of dark, dark tone that I felt like the original Sin City gave me. Not saying this movie isn't dark or has some really serious. Yeah, I thought this was really brutal. dark. See, I think there's it's it's dark and there's some seriousness, but I also think that they kind of go in a cheesy route in some some aspects, and I feel like it kind of took me out of the picture where I felt the first one was really hard hitting, really dark, and there, it was very. As much as it was strange, had a certain tone where this movie, there was either really goofy things going on, or I mean, the, some, th some things that just kind of kept me out. Um, as far as Eva Green, yeah, like, James is not lying. Like, Eva Green is basically naked in every scene, and it's just like, all right, you know, come on, Eva, let's, 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 let's do something with your character. Yeah, that's uh, what I was thinking too. <laughs> Do something with the character. Well, I mean, I'm not, uh, you know, I, <laughs> Josh Brolin and uh, Joseph, Joseph Gordon Lovett were great additions to this uh, Nightwing. series. Mickey Rourke does a great job, plays the same exact character from the first film. But I just feel like the story Josh didn't Hartnett, have the same punch. Two seconds. Yeah? Josh Hartnett at the beginning? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I, I didn't think the movie had a real punch to it. I think it didn't really have that gut feeling that I thought the first Sin City did. I didn't feel like I was in, you know, um, the city that will. Uh, or make you rot, or make you rot. I forgot the saying, but uh, I don't think it had that same. There was something about the first one that's tone, and, and even though like you know you have characters that are yellow and all these strange things, this one just felt a little bit more cheesy and a little bit more, um, more lighter version of what we I think we you saw. You know why you might feel that way? Maybe because you've seen it already. So now the second is the first time you see it, you're like, oh my gosh! So the second time you see something of the same nature, you're kind of, you're not as impressed because they didn't take it to that next level. Well, I think the visuals were impressed, but I feel like they threw out a little bit way too much color and they decided, like there was a few things that they did that I didn't really like on how they used the color. Because in the first film, it was very like kind of somber, but it was, I think it was the small things in this movie that kind of kept taking me out. Things that seemed really, really cheesy. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head, uh, but it was really, really just random things. I was like, I don't know if I really like that. Uh, but some of the characters were more of joking, and I don't know. It just it didn't have that same feel, and I really can't word it right now. But hopefully, in my review, I'll be able to word it better. But the, there was a definite tone that I felt a difference in. The lack of tonality, however, to learn the full, full, full in depth, hundred percent detail is ChasingCinema.com, the film lovers website slash Sin City. A Dame two. to Kill For? No, I'll do two, just because of Dame to Kill For. Sure. Sin City 2, because he's doing us all a favor, so we don't <laughs> yes. have to do the. T -t 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 all right, Facebook and Twitter, like and follow this man. And check out our podcast. Yes. That was a lot of fun. It's an hour of just nerds, honestly, just going off. No. Also, <laughs> check out me and Mr. Shu doing the ALS by Ice Bucket Challenge. Yes, Ice Bucket Challenge. <laughs> that was fun. Called me out, but I did it, and then. <laughs> 
I and Mama it. Shoe. Yeah, and I threw I'm my so mom proud in. of you, Mama Shoe. Good for you. I'm gonna show my mom the video now. Sure. Yeah. Cause Hi, Mama Shoe. We've never met, but I feel like you're my other mother. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, seven days from today, we'll be back at AMC Town Square. But what are we watching? As above, so below. A horror film. But also be watching The November Man. I'm watching that. We got James Bond back. We got Thomas Crown back. <laughs> I mean, Daniel Craig. I feel better. like, I, yeah. I'm just See, that's the hey, problem. He's like, James Bond. He goes, James Bond's back, and uh, Thomas, Thomas Crown. Crown. Yeah, but Thomas Crown, like the I original Thomas Crown was Thomas better, Crown. And, and the new James Bond I was better. I love Thomas like, Pierce Crown. Brosnan or Rene Russo. Pierce Brosnan's like the third, or like for Thomas Crown, he's the second best Thomas Crown. For James Bond, he's like the third best James Bond. He's, you know, he's, just, I don't know. I don't know. Well, nothing personal. Pierce I'm Brosnan. watching no, the November Man. <laughs> Next I week. probably will too. In seven days. And then I probably will watch this above so below as well. The Film Lovers website, regardless, check out the site, chasingcinema.com. Thank you. Sir. We'll be back seven days.